Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Vanin, and you join me back here with Hogwarts Legacy. Um, did a bunch of stuff in the in the last episode. You know, we went to um, go and speak to Professor Rackham. Is his name? Yeah. So did that. Learned a spell. Learned some other bits. Um, and now we're going to kind of like cash in a few um, a few bits and pieces. So. Uh, all ready to do a herbology lesson where we're going to learn Wingardium Leviosa, I think. Um, I can go and learn that uh, that thing from um, Professor Weasley in the Room of Requirements, the other spell, because I found some more of the Moonstone. It is literally just down here, and I'll show you where I am in a, in a couple of moments. And we also need to go and learn something from the... Um, flying teacher, the, uh, the broom flying person. Yeah, yeah. Um, which we're going to go and do now. now. Uh, we are right down here. So here's Hogwarts, and here we are here just over over the, the lake there. Um, you've got Hogsmeade up here. Well, they're there. And where we're heading to is the Hogsmeade train station. And I think um, this might be one of those, ooh, 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 no, monkey impersonation. Um, but right ahead of me, literally right ahead of me, um, over there, over there, over there, thank you. Uh, it's where I found the moonstone, by the way, there's like four bits of it. Um, so um, let us get the old broom out and we will head up here. We need to go to the train station, which looks like you've got this bridge here. And then you come up. Oh, this is so cool. Hogsmeade Station. Get in there. Oh, this is wicked. It's so cool. Rebellion. What's the stuff outside? back in the daytime, don't I? This dude. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. Name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye. Let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? Yeah, shows your goods. See if there's something you need. Huh. Need some of them before. Get me. Chinese chomping cabbage. Oh, that's brilliant. Chinese chomping cabbage. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, don't need anything, chap. That's been a pleasure. Yeah, sure it is. Down here. It's another Merlin challenge, isn't it? Try what do you have in store for me this time? Right. Well, I think I need to come back here during the day to give this a good coat of looking at, and I'll geek out on my own. Oh, 
I just need to pop these. There's nothing spectacular, I don't think. Apparently, they're not the ones at the Hogsmeade station, because we went right at the station. Balloons hiding or something. No, just over here. And one is. There we go. It's there. Okay. And then the other location is at the Quidditch pitch. I've got some map. Delta. Uh, flying lawn thing. So, something I figured out just kind of like flying around. If you you if you you don't have to hold um, shift in order to um, to fly quick, you can like it's basically it's on or off. Crash, no, didn't crash. The other balloon. Where's the other one? Last one. Where are you hiding? There we go. So, we now have completed that challenge. So, we can return to the flying ladies. Uh, her room is up here. And I'm guessing she's going to teach us a spell. How did you get on with those tasks? Nailed it. Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? 
Oh, we're inseparable. Absolutely inseparable. We know each other inside out. Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. I'm not sure what this has got to do with Quidditch, but... Uh... Glacius. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office. Where is it? There. Uh, stick it on there. Taking it out into the world. Glacius! There you go. Catching them quickly. Good for you. Right. right. So we've learnt that. Now, now we need to go to um. Let's go and learn Wingardium Leviosa. F to locate on the map. So. We go here. Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted to do, was it? I wanted to go to greenhouse itself. Uh, where are they there? No, wouldn't be. Greenhouses. There we go. Seem to get very lost with this thing. The old flu powder. Now? Oh, stop asking. I'm telling you. All right. Professor Garlic. That must be a Chinese chomping cabbage. Oh, look, very How excited with ourselves. To see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Thanks. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed Leviosa. correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. I have no idea what she just said, but okay. Here we go. Wingardium Leviosa. Or Leviosa. Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. Really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. 
And that's when you took over as the herbology professor. Well, not quite. After three weeks at St Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage. So it was back to St Mungo's for him. What a string of bad luck. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacular and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Right, you are then. Dave, that was some of the worst flirting I think I've ever seen. A good try. She might be a little out of your league though, mate. Right, so, we now have... Oh, shush. We've got Wingardium Leviosa somewhere. It's around here. So there it is. It's there. Wingardium Leviosa. Levitates and controls a movable object. Control the position. Okay, so, F, E, Q, and E. Right, you are. So, we're going to put that there for the minute. I seem to have more spells up here than I do have slots over here, so I'm guessing that some of these things might have to come out. But anyway, we move on. We need... I didn't need the map, I need the quests, that's what I need. Uh, interior decorating, return to Professor Weasley. Not you all then. Right. Secret rooms. Room of requirement. On our way. Right you are. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Was it in that one? Oh, I believe you are ready to learn a resto momentum, the slowing charm. It allows awesome. you to freeze objects or people in midair. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. Placing rugs. Didn't know this game was all about interior decoration. Never mind. Two more things. Apparently don't have any seats. Put that there. That looks nice. I just covered up that horrible rug. Uh, chairs. Let's have that one. And 
Jeez. Oh no. That one. What else is it that we can stick on the wall? That decorations. an ugly fish. Good work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can nice. change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Right. Right, we are then. Altering spell. Or interior decoration. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. And the altering spell. That one. change color. I'm looking at the wrong things or something. Chair. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst... <laughs> the... Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Right, you are, Deke. Come away. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, 
What sort of overall look most appeals to you? I don't know. Cool, moonlit ambience sounds perfect. I'd like something natural and earthy. I focus best in a room that is dark and mysterious. A bit of moonlit like ambience. Feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Hmm, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Marvelous. I have more room. I have rooms. All the rooms, apparently. Wow. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Well. Pressing screens. All right, well. We get rid of all of that stuff. Identify some gear. We have identified the gear. It is gear. Right. Get potions. Yes, we can make potions. Rather snazzy, then, isn't it? Not too sure about the skulls, though. I'm guessing if we have a bunch of seeds. Uh, no. Oh, oh, you. And you. A potting table, Dittany and Mandrake. So. I need more. Planters, don't I? Look at all these. All these pictures and stuff. I'm not going to do the, all of this on camera, but I think I'll be getting rid of a lot of this stuff and then doing so four is this. We've got some furniture. Okay. Lights and stuff and some clocks and, you know, they're all Unbelievably essential. 
So we've got this and we've got a hopping pot. What does a hopping pot do? Scientific little pot that that that, that yeah, will, will produce brew a random potion. Okay. Purchase from tomes and scrolls. And then this is a T-shaped scientific potion station and then a medium scientific potion station. My medium scientific potion station. And then this. So bigger and so forth. And medium plotting tables. What's that? Small, medium, large, composters and chopping stations okay what's this utility desk of description enchanted loom material refiner material refiner okay so we probably need to go shopping for some bits but I don't reckon they're going to be cheap and I don't think we've got a huge amount of money because I have been spending a bit of cash yeah three grand we have left let's go let's end this up oh, Professor Garlic Flipendo okay grow and harvest fluxweed Acquire all three combat plants and use them simultaneously. Wow. Practice flying near the spires. Practice flying near Knee Bridge Tower. Okay, fair enough. Resto Memento. Summoner's Court, match one. Someone is looking for a new opponent. Summoner's Court. Go to Summoner's Court board. Oh, that was that thing where you like pulled Accio, isn't it? Oh, yeah, cool. I'll oh, we'll have a play of that. Uh, prepare for uh, explore the tower. Prepare for your search for the next. Explore the tower. This means this tower. Okay, fair enough. Well, first of all, we are going to go and we are going to go to Hogsmeade. Because I want to end the episode up in the Tomes and Scrolls. Yes. That waypoint. Go here, South Hogsmead. I want to go and have a look, see how much these things are cut. These these the uh, uh, words really difficult. Apparently. Hogsmead, here I come. Right. I love the watering cans, they are absolutely brilliant. Oh, hello. I was wondering when I'd see you again. Uh, right now. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Yes, let's. Right, beast fit. Oh, we must be able to do things with beasties. Beast toy box. Shopping station. Oh, 1500. Song composer. 1000. Hopping pot. Wow. Holy cow. Sitting table with three small pots. Spellcraft. Imparts. Two thousand medium potting station. Potting station, potion station. Um Well I reckon we need to get like plants going first. So, let's 
That's only 400. Nothing so let's like buy finding that. just the right thing, is there? Dung composter unlocks the ability to conjure a dung composter. Use it to create fertilizer that can be used to increase the yield of a seeded plant. Okay. Unlocks the ability to conjure a chopping station. This station periodically produces a plant byproduct, so keep an eye on it. Favourite toy for them to play with. Shopping station or dong composter. Could buy compost, but I don't know how much that costs. I think it was about 300. Well, if it's 300 and it takes one for it, potentially the dung composter, composter. Uh, I'm just gonna buy it. Nothing Sorry. like finding just the right. Doesn't thing. leave us very much money, but I'm sure we can make money. Let's make some money now, actually. Not a lot. A pleasure doing business. With but. They're both better than what I've got, but to be brutally honest. Uh, decreased damage taken from spiders. Mm, yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, we'll keep hold of them. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Uh, gives me money back. Well feel utterly fleeced. I'm going to sign off again in glitchy old Hogsmeade. I say glitchy old Hogsmeade, but I probably need to upgrade the graphic card at some point. Oh well, that's all, that all costs money. Right, so what have we done? It's, again, it's one of those sort of like bitty episodes where you don't really do a lot because the kind of the nature of RPGs really is, um, you know, go here, do this, come back here, cut scene, here you go, here's the thing. Um, so we popped the balloons and we learned Glacio. We, um, what did we do? For um, Professor Garlic. Oh yeah, I did that off camera. Um, I threw some plants at some spiders um, just outside of uh, Lower Hogs, something or other. Um, I found some spiders and threw a mandrake at, or pulled a mandrake out whilst they they there and the mandrake was very shouty. And I threw a, a venomous tentacular thing. Um, at them and they didn't like that at all so the plants thing is like well worth doing um because launching some of those out and everything is, is is quite funny if nothing else um there was this one here was it the thunder brew yeah as soon as you get your hands on a thunder brew give it a whirl with an enemy around very very amusing very entertaining um i'll have to do it on on, on camera and show you but if you've got a game, go and do it. Get involved. So yeah, we'll call that an episode. Um, we've just got fleeced in the old um, shop there. What's it called? Tomes and Scrolls. Um, daylight robbery, I tell you. These high women had the decency to wear a mask. But anyway, um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It's free. Probably one of the best things you'll do all week. Probably. No money back guarantee on that. Um, and uh, if you're feeling generous, um, write a comment in the, in the comment section below. Uh, let us know how you're enjoying this, if you are enjoying it, if you're not enjoying it, if there's anything you'd like me to you know, change up or anything like that. Let us know. Um, don't mind criticism, as long as it's constructive. Don't just come on and go, you're dreadful, you suck. It doesn't do anything. But um, until next time, take care.